In this video I'll go ahead and place materials and textures on a large portion of the interior objects of this warehouse. I'll just go ahead and start doing this. You can go ahead and follow along. It's pretty simple. Just take the objects and match up the textures with the object names. Okay? And uh, select the type of shader that you want. So for example, a bump specular, uh, diffuse texture, uh, shader, whatever you want. For this stuff I'm probably going to be using a lot of um, bump specular shaders. So I'll take this table for example and I'll go over here. I know this is called a table so I'll type in the word table and it'll start to narrow down and find this stuff for me. Come over here, generate alpha from grayscale, drop in the bump map right there, hit the fix button to mark that as a normal map. Okay, And just do the same stuff thing for this other stuff like these uh, shelf pieces, these wooden crates, the wooden pallets you see right here. So I'm going to fast forward the video because it's a pretty repetitive process so we'll go through this really quickly. Uh, it should be pretty easy for you to do. Okay so for the floor over here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select the floor. You can see the floor mesh is actually comprised of four different materials. Okay, So we've got for example this material uh, auto A001 interior floor A433 and so on and so forth. So I have four different types of materials that I'm going to be using for that. Okay, So here's what I'm going to do. For the first one I'm going to set that to a bump speckler and actually I'm going to do that for all of them. So change all of these materials to bump speckler materials. And I'll start off with the first material. Uh, I'm going to do a search here in the project pane here, the project panel. I'm going to do a search for warehouse and we can see we have these four warehouse uh, textures over here, the floor uh, A1A, A1B, A1C, A1D. did this on purpose uh, for, to get variety in the floor texture because the floor is something that uh, the player is going to be close to all the time. Now you can see the texture came in kind of weird. Uh, it looks kind of funny. The reason for that is we need to do a UV swap. So we can see that the warehouse interior floor A1 belongs to floor interior. So we're going to have to go get that asset. So let me hit this little X button here. And let me go find that uh, that asset, which is going to be the floor interior. If I scroll up, I'll find it right here. I'm going to hit swap UVs. And there we go. Now the texture comes in uh, correctly. Okay. I'm going to hit fix now in the normal map to fix that. And there we go. So now the texture looks the way that it's supposed to. Now, what I'll do is I'll go to the other ones and apply the other uh, variations that I have. So let me go back and do a search for warehouse int floor. I'm going to get the A1B, drop that here. I'm going to use the same bump map, so the A1A bump for all of these. And you can see how the floor in the scene begins to become textured. I'm going to use the variation C over here with the same bump. And then for the final and last texture, I'm going to use the variation D, so 1D over here. So basically I created these different variations uh, that have like dirt on them, little kind of oil uh, oil marks and stains and things like that just to add variation and make the uh, level look more convincing. Now the other thing I need to do is go to each one of these and create an alpha from grayscale so I get myself some uh, more realistic specularity. So I'll go to each texture, generate alpha from grayscale and hit apply. And then finally the last one. There we go. All right, perfect. Now finally, I need to set up the textures for these decals. Basically, I have these decals on the floor, and there's a lot of ways to do decals in games uh, game development. This is just one one way to uh, to do it. You can just create these polygon planes and place them uh, just above the floor, a very small amount of space between the floor and the decal. So what I'll do is this decal dirt C. Uh, what I'll do is come down here to transparent, and I'm going to use a cutout material. Okay, not a regular transparent. I'm going to use a cutout, and I'm going to go with a maybe a bump specular will look pretty good. Okay. Now I'm going to do a search over here for decal dirt, and you'll see that I have a decal dirt C. That's the name of the object. So I'll find the texture called decal dirt C which is going to be I believe this one right here I have the fuse 
and I have a bump. Fix the bump. Okay, and you can see what we get is this kind of spilled oil kind of stain on the floor. It has some shininess to it, some sheen to it. Okay, so just go to all the decals and uh, apply the correct textures. Remember to use an alpha cutout shader and just apply the bump and the diffuse maps according to the names, make them match up. I'm just going to fast forward through this because, again, this is repetitive, so I'll just fast forward through it and get through it very, very quickly. Okay, so I went ahead and applied those uh, cutout materials to uh, to those objects. So you can see up here in the catwalk, we've got some spills and some stains up here, some stuff. Also on the floor, we've also got these textures to make it look like there's these drains on the floor. So I'm going to say I'm happy with that. I'm finished with that. I'm going to end this video here, and in the next one, we'll just continue applying materials. As you can see, we have a pretty big complex scene, and uh, it takes plenty of work to apply all these materials, but hey, that's just part of the job of working on uh, next-gen environments. So I'll see you in the next video.